name is Andy and I'm a com Hello, my name is Andy and I'm a compulsive gambler. Last bet, 14th of April 2007. Hi guys, uh, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying away from gambling day at a time. Or ones who are just curious, I hope you're finding my vlogs informative. Um, quite a lot about myself today, I think. Uh, last couple of weeks I've been feeling really good, really upbeat. Uh, getting my fitness in order as well. Uh, just started really doing the insanity DVDs again, so dripping like a madman. I've managed to clear a bit of space in the garage, so been putting it off for a while. Um, probably as a compulsive gambler, sometimes you procrastinate and just leave things. Oh, I'll do it, do it later, do it later, do it later. Yep, I am one of them guys. It's one of them behaviours I still have, even though I've been off gambling for over ten and a half years. You still carry some behaviours, which when you was gambling you still have like I say I procrastinate quite a lot I leave things to the last minute I'm still very impulsive which you'll probably find out in later vlogs what I've done for somebody um, or what I brought somebody so we'll see what happens there <laughs> interesting let's uh, put it this way um, I mean like I say I'm in good nick health wise mentally as well I'm in very good way Nick as well. Um, with thoughts on uh, gambling and stuff like that, uh, I always try to get every person's kind of view, whether I disagree with it or not. Um, I've been studying quite a lot recently, just reading up on various things about various ideas and various campaigns and things like that. I disagree with some, I agree with others. But I think the most important thing is to be nice, to be respectful. And I think, for me, once I stopped gambling, it was all about abstination for the first year or so, 18 months or so. But after a while, you start to learn about yourself and become a better person. I've started to listen to people, start instead of like shooting first, ask questions later. I take on board what people say. Um... I'll also admit when I'm wrong, if you know what I mean. I'll always be here to know when I'm wrong. I won't crow about being right all the time, because I'm not. Um, if I'm right, uh, I'll do it with humility and grace, if you know what I mean. I know it kind of, kind of, sounds kind of daft, but, but that's the way I am nowadays. Um, if I'm wrong, put your hands up. I admit I'm fully wrong. And, uh, yeah... But yeah, I've, I've become a better person. I listen a lot more. I'm a lot more caring and understanding now. Um, probably, in a way, that's probably one little bit of a downfall for me. Probably I'm too caring and I've probably got to learn that I can't save everyone even though I want to save the world kind of thing. But I can't do that, especially with regards to gambling addiction. You have to want it if you want to stop. The tools are there in place to stop. There's no easy way out, there's no quick fix. You've got to learn to live again without it. I always talk about time, money and opportunity. All them three come together and you're going to gamble. Unfortunately, you are going to gamble. So it's all about breaking that link. The money and the opportunity is the easier, easier part of it. Time though, I find, I find hardest because you, you're devoted to your gambling 24-7 pretty much. You go to bed, then get up, oh, gamble, gamble, gamble. That's how I was. I was, I just so focused in and zoned in on it. So I had to change, my, change the way I was, life -wise, lifestyle wise. So I got fit, did a lot of running and things like that. Do a lot of half marathons and and things. So yeah, I've got, I, I have to fight it. Still fight the urge. Um, it's not there as much now because I've lived through it a day at a time. Not setting myself no targets or anything. Um, obviously, I, I do get touchy and a bit worried about around anniversaries, around the anniversary of not gambling. Um, I just get myself to more meetings, more GA meetings. I talk to more people who know about my gambling addiction and who, who are similar to me, who are struggling as well. I'm in groups where I have a chat with people and stuff like that. So it's really good. There's plenty of tools there to help yourself stop. Um, 
have to fight it, you have to want it. I'd rather take one step in the right direction instead of 100 steps in the wrong one. It's a nice little analogy I heard the other day, and I'm still learning. I learn off people constantly, and I'll probably learn till the day I die about this addiction and how I recover and how I carry on recovering and how I keep myself away from gambling as well. Um, gives you gives you honesty, gives you trust back when people people give get give trust back in you. I've done some really horrible things, horrible things to people to lie, especially during the time when I was gambling. I wasn't a nice person. I was angry. I was obsessive with it. I didn't think about anybody else but myself very selfish in a horrible kind of way now in a way I'm selfish in a good way because I've got to look after myself first in my recovery obviously I want to help others as well but your priority should be number one yourself if you get yourself right and get yourself on that road then stop going for it if you know what I mean I mean I do a lot of through social media and I see a lot of Twitter accounts and uh, there's a lot of people on there who followed me who are who are enormously gambling addicts who probably just set up an account and are on the first day of recovery. Don't pressure yourself. In th it took me nine years to fully come out to the world. Obviously I had friends and family who knew privately but I needed you need to sort yourself out before you try and think about trying to help others. It's great. I admire what you're trying to do and things like that. But just take it from me personally. Take your time. Get them barriers in place. If you can't sort yourself out, it's not going to help others. If you know what I mean. Really, really relax. Take it all in. My advice is tell people. Tell you, like your family and whoever else that will do need to know but I can understand when people don't either but it's a long fight it's a massive fight it, like I say it took me nine years don't pressure yourself into any targets listen to learn learn to listen I always vouch for that study study things I mean I'm still studying things to this day I've been like watching uh, some YouTube videos lately about addiction some of it by design, which I don't personally agree with at all, but that's probably for another uh, another debate on social media, probably. Not over a vlog, because I don't think it helps anybody. Um, yeah, but all in all, I'm in really good shape, really good nick. Family's doing well. Um, match on Sunday for Derby, my football team against Forest. Hope we beat them. A bit of a local one that is but uh yeah i mean happy days uh i need a shave probably need a hair chop as well but it's my birthday in november so get myself sorted then uh 38 i will be i had a hard paper round was that hard i didn't do it <laughs> um yeah that's about it for me today so yeah all in good nick my name is andy i'm a compulsive gambler my last bet 14th april 2007 if anyone wants to talk to me, feel free to DM me through Twitter at BaronMad79. Please try and not go through Facebook because we're trying to keep that as personal as possible for like family and friends, if that's okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye.